a lot of travel this holiday season, so why not join a game with millions of players that you can just like attack dwarves and elves and have epic battles with countless factions to discover, countless characters, guys. Let's thank the sponsor today's video being Raid Shadow Legends, which is available on your PC, on your Android, on your iOS device. And you can use the link down below to get it right now. So Raid has over 16 different factions, such as orcs and dwarves and elves. Ultimately, my favorite are the dwarves. So the dwarves ultimately live under the mountains of Despar. They isolated themselves and over time they kind of developed a very short stature. Ultimately, the dwarves are ultimate fighters. Ultimately, their king gathered them up to come kick some ass. And of course, what I really like about this game, guys, is it's available on your phone. So whether you're traveling like me or you're in an airport or you're doing whatever you want to do, you can just whip it out any time on your computer, on your phone, you can just continue where you left off. And so what is new with Raid? Yes, because Raid always has constant upgrades. So just this month, Raid released the biggest update ever, guys. They released the Doom Tower. Yes, that is right. It's a giant tower, 120 different floors with a bunch of secret challenge rooms and 12 seriously badass bosses. And there's definitely never been a better time to start playing Raid than right now. The Raid team is giving away a bunch of free goodies, plus a special champion to help get you started in the tower, and that is Bulwark. He's awesome in clan boss, and he's gonna be a lot of help against those big crazy bosses. So get a head start in Raid. This offer is only available for the next 30 days. So hit the link in the description down below. And if you're a new player, you're gonna get the free Void Champion Bulwark, 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and ancient shards. And it'll be available just right up in this top corner. It's that easy, go get Raid right now, and get yourself on an epic mission. And good morning, everybody. Joel Hansen here. What's going on, everybody? Today, we're in New Orleans, Louisiana, outside the Oceana Grill to do the most famous, notable food challenge in New Orleans, Louisiana. This is their big pancake challenge here at the Oceana Grill. So it's seven pancakes, approximately about seven inches in diameter, um, although they make them a little larger sometimes, and they're pretty thick. Um, we have a couple good friends do this. Um, there's apparently a huge big like waiver document. You sign your life away. Then yeah, you have 25 minutes to complete the challenge. If you fail it, I believe it's about 25 or 30 bucks. Um, so yeah, anyway, 25 minutes, whack of pancakes. They have like strawberries, banana, they're like dessert pancakes. So let's head on in, see what we can do. Should, have, should be fun. Um, and yeah, New Orleans breakfast. It's like 10 a.m. I never usually eat this early in the day, at least like a challenge, but gotta start the day off right here in New Orleans. Everybody, so here we are with the stack of pancakes. New Orleans pancakes. My first time having pancakes in New Orleans. And again, the most notable food challenge. So 25 minutes. Apparently there's a record of about six minutes, 32 or 37 seconds. So about six and a half minutes. I would let this cool off and they are still steaming hot. I'm not sure if you can see that. But yeah, strawberries, whipped cream, and uh, bananas. So let's get started here momentarily. Looks great, really cool spot, and uh, I'm excited. I guess we'll get started. Let's say the count of five, four, three, two, one, let's go. That's a buttery pancake. How are you? It tastes like butter. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at the Oceana Grill in New Orleans. So, so excited to be here in New Orleans, guys. Um, my first time in New Orleans. I've been wanting to come to Louisiana for a long time. Um, I even had a trip booked, but I canceled it because of the current situation globally. But that being said, guys, this is the most notable food challenge. I've said that like three times, but it really is. This is the challenge people do when they come to New Orleans. It's one of the few in the downtown New Orleans. It's right in the French Quarter. And this Oceana Grill is very, very famous. If you go on their website, they have many like famous pictures of star, like movie stars, music stars, etc. all come in there. And uh, yeah, like seriously, it's a really cool spot. Well noted. They have multiple levels. Um, the place is normally just bumping on a weekend um, and of course they have a pancake challenge which I thought was really really cool um, So as we said seven pancakes guys. It is a big one um, But that's pretty much about it guys. It's just pancakes. It's quick um, It's that's as simple as that uh, Mr. Beard meets food had the record and pretty much every other eater that's ever been in New Orleans has done this challenge has continued its kilos um, like the list just goes on but yeah, so pretty much uh, figured to give these pancakes a go, see if we could get a little bit of a new record on them. Uh, pancakes were really good. The staff were very friendly as well. It was like definitely the longest and biggest document I've ever had to sign to do a food challenge. It was legit like five or six pages. It literally even talks about their um, like business plan with the challenge, which was very unique. Yeah, these ones are still burning hot. 
Normally I'm a diehard Team Waffle, and I still am Team Waffle. Let me know down below right now, guys, are you Team Waffle or Team Pancakes? But I will say for pancakes, these were very good pancakes. Um, definitely tasted very buttery. They were cooked very nicely. Um, really nice texture. So, uh, hey, if you're ever in the downtown French Quarter, Louisiana, uh, New Orleans, and you wanted some good pancakes, honestly, this is a good spot to check out. And they got oysters. They got everything, guys. Seafood, like, it's just, it's a great place. I really love New Orleans. Definitely recommend going there. But at that, that's pretty much all the info I have for you today. So uh, I'll let you get the rest of the video, and ultimately, let's see what happens. Uh, don't forget to check out the end of the video, guys. We got some really cool footage of New Orleans. Um, beautiful place, beautiful place. So let's go. How many minutes? Three minutes, 32 seconds. That's all right. How about four minutes down? Just finish it up. So four minutes, 11 seconds, got me a record, so that's pretty cool. Very delicious, really like the place here, really like the pancakes, and uh, yeah, very buttery flavor. I like the fruits, so until next time everybody, hope you enjoyed, we get the meal for free, and we're gonna enjoy New Orleans. So of course, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating, don't do what I do, come get yourself some food, and have some fun, have a lovely life. Got a t-shirt, got oysters, Oceana grill, and like that, so that's pretty cool. Actually, I like this shirt. I don't have oysters, but the restaurant does, so pretty cool. That's different. Not used to seeing that. Hey everyone, we're in the French Quarter of New Orleans by night, so it's pretty cool. Um, we're outside Cafe Du Mans. Uh, I don't know if they're open, they may be closed. Apparently this is the original one, usually it's 24 hours. I'm not sure if it really is, but we're gonna find out. So yeah, we're here with Raina, of course, and uh, we're gonna see Los by night, and then we're gonna see it in the daytime, of course, too, but yeah, who don't know. And although you can't see it too well, here we have the water. There's the bridge to Gretna. Over there we're seeing some of the uh, downtown, which we just saw from the other side. And here we are in, this is the French Quarter all around here. So yeah, see it better in the light time. Here's a big old steamboat. It's called Steamboat Natchez. Apparently you can get a ride there in the evening, pretty cool. See the big uh, paddle thingy thing behind it? It was just honking a second ago. It's really loud. Pretty cool though. Here is the plaza by night. And a whole seat in the morning. Looks really cool. Pretty dark, but looks pretty cool. And then I think the most famous site and or building in New Orleans by night. I don't even know what it's called, but this building is on all the pictures of New Orleans and it looks pretty cool. We'll have to check it out by day. We're getting close to Bourbon Street. You can see it's getting really lively. There's lots of people, lots of lights, selling some stuff. They have a liquor store that's still open. I don't think Bourbon's actually open, but we will find out. 
We will find out. We're in it's right up here. Let's find out. And Bourbon Street closed off for pedestrians to walk. And then this way, just a sea of people. And again, this is like, you know, during crazy times. So undoubtedly this place is usually hopping. People partying. I wonder if uh, There's the streetcars. Famous New Orleans uh, old style streetcars. And here on the back of the building, they are projecting. Jesus, that's pretty cool. Interesting. Never did I know. That's pretty cool, huh? and careless whisper <laughs> as we drive through the streets. To the dance floor as the music dies. 